we are going to talk about water conservation. And uh, this is the thing we want to introduce. His name was automatic faucet, or also known as hands-free faucet, touchless faucet, electronic faucet. How do automatic faucets work? Automatic faucet is a faucet equipped with proximity sensor. When the sensor detects our hands, it opens the valve. If we move away our hands, the valve shuts. And there is another, there's other equipment which is also sensor activated. Uh, like the automatic urinal, automatic hand dryer, and um, maybe uh, other thing that's not show on the photo. Maybe the equipment which can automatically provide drinking water or the food to pets. And then the next is who invented the automatic faucet. As my research, there are huge differences by searching with Chinese and uh, English. By searching with English, we got the information from Wikipedia that it were first developed in 1950s, but were not produced from commercial use until the late 1980s. When they first appeared to the general public as Air Force laboratories. And uh, to be more detailed, the soil activity process were invented by the Australian Oliver Wilhelm. His first patent was filmed on October 9th, 1981, and uh, awarded on February 7th, 1984. By searching with Chinese, local media say in February. Faucet was invented by Deng Hongji, Taiwanese inventor, who sold patents in $1.5 million in 1982. Next up, where are automatic faucets used? Um, automatic faucets are used in public restrooms the most. They are not also reducing water consumption, but also reducing the chance of transmission of microbes. And the next is an advantage. It can reduce water consum consumption by the proximity sensor and the aerator, and also because you don't need to use it manually, this can reduce the transmission of disease causing microbes. And we found a research made at California State University talking about whether automatic faucets save water. They installed two kinds of faucets in both men's and ladies' restrooms. They installed water flow meters to record water usage. The result is not surprising to me. The automatic faucets genuinely save more water than manual ones. I'm going to further explain what I've said in terms of statistics. Automatic faucet can save up to 54% of water, and more amount of water can be saved if smaller aerator is attached. And uh, the next is criticism. Some studies show that the automatic faucet increase water use. One reason is that uh, one reason is that. Automatic sensor activity faucets are said to open at a layer 4 floor rate, average of 1.2 ppm to 4.6 lpm in the case of the Hills Borer study. While manually operated faucets are typically used at floor rate at much less than 0 0.8 ppm to 3.0 lpm. Users rarely fully open manual faucet, possibly to avoid brushing. So, shutting of automatic after hand washing is one of the biggest advantages of sensor activity faucet. The manual one saves more water saving because of the flow rate of water. Another research we found that sensing ones waste more water because the sensor couldn't detect the presence of hands and the valve shut in the middle of hand washing. People had to activate one more time to wash their hands. And uh, the last step is from our perspective. In my opinion, 
I think the kind of this kind of fussy is really convenient because when you got a situation that you take the something in others' hands, it will be hard to wash your hands with manual fussy. But with an automatic one, you can wash your hand without any problem and about saving water. Maybe you will waste more water from the study, which had found many evidence to support it. But, uh, but I think depending on the progress of technique, it can become much useful than now. And uh, maybe in the future, uh, all the faucet will become the automatic faucet. And I believe sensor activated one save more water, and I would like to install one at home. When I wash my face, I always open the faucet and when, let the water go. If I install one, a m quite amount of water will will be saved. And this, and speaking to the criticism, um, the second research we found is made by a company itself. So it is hard for me to tell if there is any bias to specific products.